I mean, if you just look at individualism itself as an absolute idea, it's absurd. In it's it's it's, yeah. it's a totally absurd because it's, it talks about you own yourself. Like, did you buy yourself from a market? Did you buy yourself some from somewhere? Yeah. Logically speaking, you don't even own yourself, right? Did you decide mm. when to come into existence in this world? Are you going to decide when you expire? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you don't even, logically speaking, individual is an absurd idea. You yeah. don't even own yourself. Yeah. And, I, people, and as you mentioned, people want to live in this bubble. They don't want to think about death. You know, actually, there is a Hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, right? There'll be a time where the reason the, the situation we're in right now is because our love of dunya and hatred of death, mm. uh, hatred of the author. I think that's what it is. It's a... To, like, kind of manifestation of that yeah. and it's very interesting like people if you ask most many of these people they say they do believe in yeah. god or a creator and this is what the colonialists wanted like for example you know lord cromer right lord cromer who yeah. was uh one of the british uh colonialists i think he was administrating egypt at the time um he said that many muslims uh they'll it'll be they'll have a they'll have, they'll have a coming fate of deism among them deism means just belief in god but without revelation and he, and I'm quoting him, he said that where Muslims will cast aside much, much of the teachings of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Mm. This is what exactly is happening. And he saw this. So what's happened is they'll, they're happy with, ah, oh, my personal belief in God, but, but they've thrown away basically the way of the Prophet, mm. the Sunnah, mm. because that will interfere in the way they want to live or how they view society. 